everybody, my name is Eric and welcome to my channel. Today on my Lexus build I will be installing this Bison Gear tailgate table. So this company is out of Poland and shipping to the US was super fast like between ordering and delivery was about a week. It's got a molly panel here on this side so you can mount a bunch of stuff to it and this is the large size. They also have I believe a medium size. This is 14 inches tall the medium size is 10 inches tall. So I will be installing this here on the tailgate of my GX. Taking this rear panel off, uh, you gotta get this handle. You gotta pull these little tabs out like this. These are basically like little locking tabs. And then uh, just basically grab the handle and give it a nice firm pull and it's just plastic locking tabs. So that's pretty easy to take off. Um, next one is to remove this. This is where your toolkit is. So this panel slides up like this. Grab your toolkit and slide this out. And then you should be able to start removing it. I've got these plastic trim removal tools. So I'll just kind of start on the outside and work your way around. Oh, these uh, plastic straps here have a screw that has to be removed, at least on one side. This is what the plastic clips look like. This one just kind of fell out. And then this separates up here. So, um, if you take a look at all these white plastic clips, that is what holds it on. Uh, a couple of these fell off. So all I'm gonna do is put this back on. And another one fell off here, which is down here actually. So, yeah, here's where they all sit. And just kinda work your way Pull it off a little bit. When you have the trim removal tool, stick it in the side, you'll feel where the clips are and pop there and that's how you should be able to get it off. What I'm gonna do is use some painter's tape to help line up and level this table. And it's not gonna be 100% perfectly level, but it will be good enough. So I'm just gonna from straight down some tape here and then I'll put peanuts on this side and then I can use this to kind of mark out where the holes are going to be I tried doing it on the car but um, that didn't really work great because I noticed that these end pieces are slightly bowed in so I'm going to end up using a square to make them square and have them be completely straight on. So once I line the table up, I'm gonna push this kind of, this almost as far as it'll go this way, uh, because the net piece, there's like two pieces, so I wanna drill the holes to the right of it. And then this side, basically drill these holes as far left as I can, and that'll give me more than enough space to put the washers behind. So now that I've got this, I can square it up and I move the whole thing. So if you have another set of hands to help you, it's probably going to be the best way to do it.
Now that I've got these holes marked, I got a bunch of holes on the side that I've marked up and I'm just gonna try my best to drill the correct ones. So I know it's gonna be this darker one. Uh, I can use my square to kind of make sure it's gonna be in the correct spot. So yeah, now it's time to drill the first holes. So the hardware that comes with this kit is an M5 bolt. So I'm using a 13 64ths drill bit because I don't have a five millimeter drill bit. This is just over five millimeters. Uh, I tried a 3 16 which was like 4.75, which is a little too small. So this size, just kind of open up the hole a little bit and drops right in. So perfect. Got the first hole drilled and now um, I know where my marks are for the second ones. So then I will just drill the next ones. But before I drill, I will double check this again. I'll actually put the bolt through to kind of keep it in the correct position. So I can pull this out. drill the hole for the next one. This is six inches hole to hole. So I can measure this. I got the mark pretty good. So I can line it up. Make sure it's straight. Now, once I drill this, there's no going back if I screwed it up. All right, so then I've got the last two punched out with the punch. And these top two are actually the biggest slots so if you've got a little bit of slop, uh, not a huge deal, because then uh, these have the most movement. Okay. So now that I've got these drilled out, I will put it on and kind of test fit and make sure the other ones light up. So. This lines up, and now I can line up this other side. So this kind of slides a little bit, as you guys can see. Um, I might put some nuts on the back to hold it and make sure this doesn't move around too much. And then I will mark out my uh, other side. So just to make sure everything closes up. See, this side latches perfectly. Now, I can make sure this side latches too. And mark my other side. now I can remove it. It's a bit of a tedious process but if you want it to line up and not look terrible, 
this is the way to do it. One thing I do notice is they only give you six of these screws, but there is eight hole locations. So uh, I will probably get another two of these, have these button head with a hex, uh, some more washers, and then some more of these nylock nuts. So I'm gonna run over to Home Depot real quick and grab some. Why? Well, don't go to Home Depot. He loves going to Home Depot, so I'm uh, gonna make a little trip real quick. So now I've got the last two holes marked out and I will drill them. Aside from getting new bolts at Home Depot, I also got this eighth inch thick aluminum uh, square piece. So it's one inch wide, 36 inches long. So what I plan to do with this is cut it down and mark the holes and use this kind of as like a support piece on the back. There's nothing besides these tiny washers holding it. I think this is maybe a little bit of a flaw in the design but only having six little washers hold this whole table isn't super great, at least I don't think. So I'm gonna cut this down, uh, mark the holes in the back, and then bolt it up just so there's a little bit of extra support on the back. This is flipped over now. And you can see on the back, here's the first hole, but there's a little bit of a rib here. And this one actually gets kind of close to this edge. And then there's the two up here. And then on the other side, this one here and here, and then the two up here. So I'm just gonna do a longer strip here and then a strip here for these two. And then on this side, this middle hole will probably not have anything. This one down here, I'm just gonna put a little piece and then these two again, I'll put a little piece. So I'll start measuring out and cutting this uh, aluminum plate. So this is not gonna be anything too scientific, but uh, just gonna figure out kind of it a little bit longer than these. Use the square to make a nice straight line. I'm gonna use my little cutoff wheel to cut this out and then drill holes. So I'll show you kind of how that looks like at the end. I cut out a couple backing plates and uh, one here. This one here is really close to the edge, so I'm just going to use a washer. This one's for the top two holes. And then on this side, this piece, I was able to do one long piece and then this up here. So having some sort of backing plate, I think, is going to do a good job of not tearing out the plastic. And yeah, I'm going to bolt it up. Before I bolt up the tailgate table, I removed the net. Basically, there's just a couple screws on the back side of this. And what I'm going to do is uh, I bought these magnetic strips from Harbor Freight for a couple bucks. So I'm going to mark out the holes and drill them. And then uh, this will be able to just kind of uh, mount stuff to it. Like if I got a flashlight, for example, this just sticks right on. And then it'll be flush enough that I can still close the tailgate table. And I figure if I've got the tailgate table open, I've got a knife or silverware or something like that, I could just kind of stick it up on here, clear up space on the table. And then if I want to keep a silverware or a knife and stuff like that, I could leave it on the magnetic strip and close the table and just gives me a little more storage. So uh, I'm going to mark the holes, drill them, make some backing plates for these as well, going vertically. And then I'll be ready to mount these and then mount up the table. So I've got the table all mounted up. Um, I'm just using uh, the screws provided and then I had to buy some more 
and then here's the two magnetic strips I added, and then I'll show you the back side of it here. Here's the back side of it. I've got these uh, little aluminum plates for support. These are for the two magnetic strips. Uh, here's the other side. Uh, there's only one. I couldn't get a plate just because it's so close, but honestly, I think I have enough support with all of these. So now I'm just gonna put it back onto the barn door. All right, so uh, put it back on. Line up the uh, straps up there in the door. Here's the finished product. I've got this handle mounted up. I got the trim here on both sides lined up pretty well. And yeah, uh, pull the two tabs, pop it open, looks great. The two magnetic strips here work great. I can put all this stuff and close the table just fine. Um, I had a little bit of trouble fishing these through, but otherwise, yeah, here it is. Here's the finished product. If you like the video and you learned something, leave a comment, hit the like button, subscribe. If you want to see more of this Lexus GX build, subscribe to the channel and I've got more videos coming up.